Hey class, so let's look at creating our eyelashes. So this is a super fun part and important if you're working on your model. So you can have eyelids all you want, but they still look weird unless they have eyelashes attached. So what we're going to do first, I'm just kind of moving in the center of the eyelid because I wanna go from thin to thick. Your eyelids are part of your model or your face now that you've remeshed. You may be able to use your sculpt tools rather than just using the move brush. So you could use clay buildup or the standard brush to kind of sculpt that area higher or lower. I'm also t moving the eyeball a little bit, but I don't recommend that you do that. It's just gonna make your character more bug-eyed. To add the eyelashes, I'm going to go to Append and select Cube 3D. When it's created, it's going to be created at the bottom of your subtool menu on the right-hand side, so the bottom layer. So you're gonna need to scroll all the way to it. And I'm just gonna change the color on it. And then um, scale it, and I'm only going to make one side of my eyelash and then mirror it over. Cube is pretty big, but you can use your gizmo to scale it down so it's more eyelash sized. And I'm basically just going to kind of rotate it and get it as close to position as possible and then just use my move brush to um, move it into position. These eyelashes are pretty thin, so I recommend having them a tiny bit thicker than what I have right now. I thought about subdividing this geometry but actually left it um, the way it is because I think it's a little easier to move with less points. And then... Um, it's a good idea to turn off topological if you happen to have it turned on. Um, so I'm backtracking a little bit here. Using a large move brush will help make these moves a little easier. Um, you can also kind of flare your eyelashes out upwards or away from the eye. Um, that, can, that can help, um, particularly if your character has really... Um, exaggerated stylized eyelashes. Using the smooth brush, so when the cursor turns blue here, I'm using smooth, um, can help. And you can see my the ends of my eyelashes are kind of flaring up, so I'm including that. But you can see what a huge difference in appeal the eyelashes make. Um, so definitely make sure you include them. So now once I have mostly created them, I'm just gonna go through with a little light smooth brush and just make sure it looks okay. These are super simple eyelashes that are just made up of a single mesh. So they're kind of like eyeliner almost. So now I wanna mirror it over and then mirror and weld it. So mirror is under the deformation menu and there's that mirror button. So that just flips it to the other side. And now I can go and mirror and weld and it will, now I have eyelashes on both sides. And if you don't know where mirror and weld is, it's under modify, geometry, modify topology, and then mirror and weld. Okay, so next we're gonna do basically the exact same process to create the lower eyelids. Um, I'm not sure I did a, the best job on these, but um, I'm gonna append and select a cube. Go down to that cube layer and name it like eyelash bottom. And then remember it's at the bottom of your model so I'm just gonna scale it and get it kind of close in rotation. And usually the eye bottom eyelashes are a little shorter. You may not even need bottom eyelashes for your character. It's up to your concept art. Oh, so there's a little gap there. So I just decided to inflate a little bit my eyelashes or my eyelids so when you see stuff you can always fix it ok 
Okay, I filled this eyelash with um, black by going to color and fill color so it actually um, paints on that color on this mesh. And just kind of rotating it as much as possible um, because of the move brush isn't always the best for these kinds of things. So if it's better to like get it as close as possible the first try and then just kind of move it as little as possible so if yours go wonky um you know it only takes a couple minutes to make these so i'd almost say just delete it and try again um you can also try adding subdivisions or dynamic subdivisions to try and add some more geometry if yours have a significant curve to them and then don't forget to use the smooth brush because it does make a difference. Um, again, remember the thin and thickness of your eyelashes. You can see that the head is always curved. I almost think my head of my character is a little too flat right now, but that's okay. You can always inflate. There we go. And so just making sure it looks as close to the concept art as possible. You can always Z remesh these little eyelashes as well, or you could try um, creating yours with curved tubes. I just, for some reason, like the box. It just makes sense to me. So now that I'm done, I'm going to go to the, um, I'm going to turn on dynamic subdivisions just to see if it smooths it out a little bit. Um, And then as the eye wraps around and has that nice curve to it, make sure that your eyelashes do too. And this is just a, you know, first pass. So um, try and get them as close as you want, as you can, but um, they don't have to be perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to that deformation menu, mirroring it over and then going to modify topology and mirror and weld. And now I've got eyelashes.